about Aftermath. Movie I just saw. Baby, you're gonna want to see it. I gotta tell you a great synopsis. I may have to give you a few, a couple little spoilers. So stick around. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I urge you to. I need your subscription. I need you to subscribe. Please subscribe. If you haven't, just hit the red button. I'll be right back in your 411 on Aftermath. This was a tearjerker. <laughs> I had two crying jacks. I mean, man, I thought they hit me with one out of nowhere. And in the second one, I thought, oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! You're going to need this. Hey, people. <laughs> okay. The aftermath takes place in post World War II. Can't say it. Post World War II Germany, 1946, when uh, the British came in after everything was all bombed out and Germany was tore apart, people had to go in and help rebuild. So the Germany we see today is practically brand new. I mean, as as far as being rebuilt after World War II, because it was massively bombed. You know, that was Hitler's headquarters, and so we well, had to make an example of that. And everybody, all the Allies, went in together and just bombed the hell out that city, country. <laughs> Bombed the hell out of, all the Allies went in there and bombed the hell out of Germany. So it had to be rebuilt. This is a major, major love story. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> the aftermath centers around a British colonel and his wife, played by Kira Knightley and Jason Clark. The couple takes up residence in one of the finer houses in Germany. Colonel Morgan and his wife, Jason Clark and Kira Knightley, move in with a widower and his daughter. They are played by Alexander Skarsgård and, what's her name? Flora Feeman. They play the architect. They're already living in the home. So what was odd about this setup is that the Colonel had a big heart. He decided to let them stay on. They just lived in separate quarters. It was a massive house. It was gorgeous, beautifully shot. Oh my God, they picked a beautiful house for this uh, picture. So I, I love the scenery. And it took place in the winter of 46, 1946. A little bit of a spoiler alert coming up, just a little bit. Here it is. <laughs> this living arrangement is a little bit of an intense uh, situation, but they try to make it work. They really do. However, the captain and his wife, Jason, you know, and Kira, <laughs> the Morgans, they got a whole lot of relationship issues that's bubbling under the surface. And this is centered around the death of their son, their young son, who was 11, that they lost in the war uh, I guess four years back from what she said. So that's the end of that spoiler. That's the only real spoiler I'm going to give you. Uh, but that, that creates the tension between the main couple, the captain, not the captain, the colonel and his wife. The next thing you need to know is that you need to bring some Kleenex. <laughs> if you are a crier like me, you're going to need it. I never expected to be crying. If you don't cry when Kira Knightley, Rachel Morgan cries, then you really ain't live yet. I'm talking to the women out here. You ain't seen enough stuff yet. Because I don't know, I just related to her pain. It was so real. And I was bawling in the show and I was surprised. <laughs> and then there was the sex. Yes, sex. <laughs> there was some sex scenes. It was hot. <laughs> so, this movie is not for children. And just because of the sex scenes, okay? Oh my God. Okay, I don't think it would be a good love story without some realistic sex scenes in it. Seriously, in real life, I mean, come on. <laughs> she in love. <laughs> it was a short review, wasn't it? So all women, if you're grown and you like drama, here's your serious drama movie. I recommend you go see it. Drag your man if you want to. He may not like it. Who cares? You will. <laughs> Aftermath was directed by James Kent. Shout out, James Quint. Beautiful job directing. There were four writers. I can't, I'm not going to remember their names, but it was four writers. The writing was great. It was adapted to the screen also. So he had a good writing job. I guess this was a book that I missed. And yes, I am calling this one for some Oscar contenders, both of the leads, Jason Clark and Kira Knightley for best acting. Really, really good acting. I mean, okay. Yes, at one point, both of them made me cry. Oh, who knew? Two, two cries in one show. 
I didn't even know this was going to happen to me today. My God. <laughs> so that's the 411. If you want to see a good drama, there you go. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the thumbs up, the thumbs down. I appreciate the phone calls. Say, what the heck was that? And you know who you are. <laughs> I love it. It's all good. It's all good feedback. I need to know. I need comments, whatever you want to do. But subscribe to my channel first so you won't even know what I'm doing. Okay, you guys, that's it. Next weekend promises to be really big. I think two or three big blockbusters coming out. Check me out at Movie Reviews with Faye Renee on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Thanks for all your support. Next time at the movies, have a good weekend. This is Faye.